What is up, Pokemon lovers? Hope you guys are all doing well. And in a very timely, monthly fashion, I will be going over some products that I'm looking to buy in the month of September. Some of these products I already have, and I just want to add to my collection or my investing position. And some of them I will be hunting in my upcoming Japan trip. So with that all being said, let's get into today's picks. So I thought I'd get the most obvious pickup of the Scarlet and Violet era, and that's gonna be the Pokemon 151 Japanese booster box. Right now I was looking at the prices and oh man, has this thing climbed. I was personally buying of them when they got the original restock at that $55 mark and now they're going right back up to the $85, $90 mark. Now I'm not here to induce FOMO to us collectors and investors. But this one's up to you. This is a 50-50 coin toss if you believe in the set long term because this one is definitely going to be a investment or a collection that's going to rise up in price faster than anything else on this list. It's still at the $85 mark. It's still worth picking up to rip and or invest in. In my personal opinion, I love the set. It's not the greatest set in the Scarlet and Violet era, so don't come after me in the comment section, but it is an easy pickup at the $85 mark for any collector. All right, now that the obvious layup is out of the way, we're gonna go into a pick that is gonna be a little bit more controversial. And what I'm looking to pick up, and I have tons of these for my sealed, and this is going to be the Mask of Change booster box. I love Mask of Change. I told you guys before, it is my favorite set to open. That's not obviously one of the big, bigger sets, just one in the main series. I love the Mask of Change. I love the commons, I loved the mass. I love the top cards that you could potentially pull. I think it's a great set and it is dirt cheap at the 35 to like $45 mark, depends on where you are looking. If you are lucky enough to have TikTok, then you can get this sub $40. Beautiful set, easy pickup, and I think if you are a investor and you want to scoop up some product that I, that could perform well in five to seven years, long-term holds, very long-term holds because they are so cheap, I think just look into Japanese. Now, investing in Japanese is very speculative, but I don't think that we'll see these super low prices for very much longer. But if you disagree, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. My next pick is going to be one of my personal favorite box arts as far as the booster box, and that's going to be Obsidian Flames. You can even pick this one in Japanese. Ruler of the Black Flame, also another great set. Ruler of the Black Flame in Japanese is a $40 to $45 booster box, just like I said with the Mask of Change. Nobody wants it. No one thinks it's even worth opening because of those top cards being so cheap, which I totally understand. But sometimes you just want to rip open some Pokemon cards for, for a, a good price. and. Uh, try to attempt to pull anything in those booster boxes. I am personally loving these really cheap prices in Japanese and even in English. I think this is a fun set to open because the hit rates are great. It's right before they started to nuke the hit rates in English. Obviously in Japanese they are the same. Four Rulers of the Black Flame where you get three ARs. I think three EXs and one special art rare. But I think this is an easy pickup. I, I, I need a few of these for my collection. I have none at the moment. I have a few of Ruler of the Black Flames in Japanese for my sealed. Not really for my investment, just for display back there. I like to buy at least two of, of each Pokemon booster box because they're so cheap. I always like to open at least two for the channel. Maybe one to open in the future with my future kids. Who knows? But I know a lot of you guys are gonna flame me for e this even being on the list, but I personally enjoy this set. You can go Charizard hunting if you want. I know a lot of those cards are not expensive, but if you wanna throw $100 at some fun with you and your kids or your family, I think this is a great pickup for the price. Now, this next box, I am looking to trade locally. I've had my eye on this booster box. I have two back there, but I just wanna add one more to my collection. I have a few back there for my sealed. The boxes aren't necessarily in the greatest condition, so I'm trying to find one in a little bit better shape. I'm probably going to hit a card show when they come here in NorCal. So going to keep my eyes on this specific booster box, and I think you guys should too. That is the Fusion Strike booster box. 
I personally love it because of the box art and the reason why I put this pickup for today's video is just because I want a box that's in pristine shapes so I can put it in one of those nice acrylic cases to store it forever. I'm gonna move the other two or three that I have just because the box, the, the wrapper is a little bit loose and it really bothers me. I believe I bought two at least from the Pokemon Center and you guys know, if you guys bought, if you guys have bought in Pokemon Center booster boxes, they do not care how they are packaged. But I know this booster box is already at the $200 mark. I know it's kind of already, you know, rose in value pretty sharply. But if you're a collector like myself, I just want a nice pristine one for my collection. And for my next pick is going to be another modern pick, and that's going to be Stellar Miracle, soon to be Stellar Crown, very soon in English. I'm going to be skipping out on this in English. I I'm going to open the UPCs just for the channel like a product review but after that I'm pretty much all out. It's a good set. It has the cool terrestrialized rainbow cards which makes you feel like you got a bigger card than what you did but the top cards are, are really not that attractive to me. Personally there's not tons for me to chase. I know the lacy card is super beautiful but I am not really feeling this set. I, I get it. It's just the the terrestrialized, shiny, even the box art doesn't really catch my eye that I want to have long term. It's really cheap. I'm very curious to see how it performs in English. I don't think it's going to do that well, but hey, it can't be as bad as Shrouded Fable in English. And now that I'm thinking of it, I should have put Night Wonder on today's list for an instant pickup, but maybe for next month. This booster box is on fire sale. I don't think anybody wants to collect this thing or open this, but why it's on today's list is that I am scooping this up just because it is on a fire sale. Maybe it'll do well over time. This is where I'm going to start my Pokemon sealed Japanese booster boxes. Maybe pick up two, three of these puppies and hope and pray that in you know two to three years i 2x my money that would be great but we'll see i know it's it's just a it's one of those plays where it's the first of its type as far as these sets go it's the, it's the first rainbow terrestrialized set and hopefully that holds weight long term I mean, but i can completely be wrong because we saw what happened with just rainbow cards in general but i am going to take a risk take a shot here and hopefully it pays off now my next couple cards are going to be cards that I'm going to be looking for when I go to Japan and I check these online all the time on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, etc. But this one right here is a very specific card and that is the Umbreon, the VMAX, the Moonbreon that we all know and love and would love to add to our collection. This one's in Simplify Chinese. It's a near mint and it's going for that $350 mark. I am going to be searching for this card in Japan at the if i could scoop this card in japan in any language i've seen some people say that they have other languages in japan so if i could scoop up this card for the sub 400 dollars, i will i just want to see it in person inspect it in person before i pay you know that type of money but if you collectors out there just like the art i can't recommend a simplified chinese enough i'm gonna leave my last video talking about those cards like right around here um, i think it's a great watch and i do my best and try to persuade you guys into maybe looking into other languages but this puppy right here such a beauty i'm probably gonna do it i might even buy it before but this next card is another card that i'm going to be looking at in all sorts of languages and that is the umbreon v a big Umbreon list for today's video. Umbreon V, this is the, this is probably my favorite. This is probably my favorite Umbreon card in the Sword and Shield era. It battles with that Karen's Umbreon, the big, big V Max form or Gigantamax form where she's like, I'm from Brilliant Stars, where she's sitting on Umbreon's paw, I believe. This one is beyond amazing. I love this Umbreon. I'm probably gonna scoop this up in Simplify Chinese for 50 bucks. Can't beat it. it it's funny because this card was cheap for so so long in english and then all of a sudden it started to rise once those alt arts started to rise so i'm very curious to see if we're going to come back down to reality and even in english if we're going to see this card take a little bit of a fall to become a little bit more affordable i'm going to wait out on this card maybe i could find a better deal in japan maybe with a lightly played or moderately played version of it I, that doesn't bother me these are just binary cards for me to add to my collection so 
Wish your boy luck over there in Japan. And if not, I'm gonna scoop it up and simplify Chinese. And if you're enjoying this content, I greatly appreciate if you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way. I'm trying to reach 2K and I greatly appreciate if you guys could help me out. So with that being said, let's get into our final pick for today's video. So for my final pickup that I've been picking up in the month of September is more alternate arts like this right here. I got the two Rayquazas, you can see right here. Let's try to zoom, have these bam, and then bam right here. Really beautiful Rayquazas. I'm personally trying to play alt art catch up and not rip as much product as I was prior, even prior months, definitely less than last year. There's so many opportunities to buy singles in other languages like the alt arts and I'm going to try to really focus and dive deep into that. I'm also trying to report on the prices for you guys so that you guys can get all of these arts for the best prices. I think right now is the best time to be a Pokemon card collector just because of how cheap and how many options we all have. I think Pokemon right now is definitely in a downturn as far as popularity, but we all know that if you're a true Pokemon collector, you're still here, you're here after the pandemic, and you're gonna be here for the next 10 years. And if you enjoy videos like this, I'm gonna leave another one right around here. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.